Hey, what's going on guys? It's the Legacy here back at you with some more Call of Duty Ghost gameplay. And what you're watching in the background is an absolutely amazing gameplay. It is a free-for-all chem strike on the map Octane by Doom Rinaldi. This guy is the free-for-all king, so if you enjoy free-for-all gameplays, I would highly recommend to go over to his channel and hit that subscribe button. But anyways, this gameplay in particular, he is using the Assault Strike package, and you gotta give him props for that because... You know, normally when you're going for chem strikes and things like that, you know, you're going to want to use the specialist package because it gives you a bit of an advantage over the enemies, but he was using the assault, so that does make it a bit more impressive, and you got to give him props for getting it. So once again, go check out his channel if you enjoyed it. But anyways, I'm going to be getting into the little story I have for you guys today. So as most of you guys know, I don't normally tend to tell real life stories and that is just because I don't find my life to be too interesting. I'm just like you guys, I go to school, I come back home, I eat, play video games and then repeat, you know, it's not really too interesting. But I did go to the Eaton Center the other day and if you guys are unfamiliar with that, it's a huge mall in Toronto and it's just absolutely huge. And I went there for a class field trip, I was learning about business and all that kind of stuff. But we didn't really learn about business, we just kind of needed a day off so that's why I went at least. But anyways, like I said, this is in the middle of Toronto, and my teacher didn't really want us getting lost because we're not around there, we don't know the ways around or anything like that, so she just told us to partner up with someone so we don't get lost or get injured or just who knows. So I partnered up with a few of my buddies, I went with three other friends, and it was getting to be later in the day and we were getting kind of bored, so we decided to go into an indigo, and I'm not sure if they have an indigo in the US or the UK or anything like that, but it's basically just a big bookstore, it was two stories tall, the whole mall was like four stories and it's just huge. But anyways, this one bookstore was two stories tall, and me and my friends actually ended up getting split up, so it was just me and my other friend and then the other two just kind of wandered around by themselves. And I was getting pretty thirsty, so me and my other friend, we went to, like, a juicing place, I forget what it was called, and I got a lemonade. So I was just sitting there, I wasn't sitting, I was standing there, I was paying for my lemonade and everything, and all out of the blue, this creepy old man comes up to me and my friend, and he looks so creepy, guys, I thought he was like a pedo or something like that. But he comes up to us, he's wearing, like, Nikes, Jordans, he has his iPhone in his hand, and he just looks really rich, and he doesn't look poor at all. And so he comes up to us and he has his iPhone in his hand like I said and the whole screen is like cracked open. So anyways he starts talking to us and you could obviously tell it was fake and that it was like rehearsed or everything. He was like so focused on it just like I'm focused on this commentary right now you know you're just really into it. And he was telling us that he just dropped his iPhone and the screen shattered and it broke so he needed a loony to get to the payphone. And I know a lot of you American guys always criticize me on my Canadian talk, but a loony is a, a dollar. I'm pretty sure most of you guys know that. So he was asking each of us for a dollar because his phone supposedly broke. And so being the nice guy I was, I gave him a dollar. And so that was it. That was just done. And I thought I was being a nice guy. And then we meet up with our friends again and we go shopping. We go into like a Best Buy and EB Games or whatever. And my friend was like, oh man, I wish I would have had enough for like these Skittles or something. It was just something basic. He was gonna go get a Skittles at like Shoppers Drug Mart or something like that. So he's like, man, I would have had it if I didn't give that guy my dollar. Then my other friends are like, whoa, 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 whoa. What, what dollar are you talking about? And then we're like, oh yeah, this guy came up to us and uh, we both gave him a loony because he dropped his phone. And they told us that the same guy, like the, they described him and everything, the same guy asked them for a loony and I know a payphone is definitely not four dollars so we started to get a bit fishy and so we saw that exact guy around the mall around half an hour later so we started following him and following him he asked so many people for a dollar he must have asked about 20 people since we were following him and we were kind of like stalking him and my friend took videos on his iPhone and so we finally approached him at the end of the day and we asked him why he was taking all this money because he obviously wasn't poor or anything. I mean I would have understood if he was homeless and he wanted some extra money but he had like Nikes on and an iPhone and Jordans and everything like that and he said, just, just listen carefully, he said that he was going to donate money 
to a charity and I just I called BS on that and I'm pretty sure that nobody was going to believe them but we didn't really want to get too into it because uh, he was kind of weird so anyways that's a story about how we met a robber and we encountered him and I know it's not too interesting I'm not too interesting of a person but anyways I thought I would tell it because I'm running out of commentary topics man there's not much to talk about anymore but I hope you guys did enjoy if you did enjoy this gameplay feel free to leave a like it really does help out the clan channel and I will see you guys in a future video